I hate when I forget something really important, like studying for a test, or neglecting to pay my credit card bill on time, or not remembering someone's birthday. When I forget something, I get anxious, worried, and frustrated, perhaps some self-recrimination too. How can I be so stupid? Forgetting what matters can really throw my life out of balance. Maybe the most egregious example of forgetting happens in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 through 51. There we read that when Jesus was 12 years old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to Jerusalem for the Passover. When the feast was over, Jesus' parents left the city, presuming the boy was with their extended family, but he wasn't. They went a whole day before they realized Jesus was missing. Imagine what that must have felt like. Imagine the kinds of things that might have entered their minds. You were entrusted by God with the Messiah, and you lost him? God made you responsible for the Savior, and you left him behind? It took three days to find Jesus, who was sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. You can imagine Mary's voice when she asks Jesus, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. Jesus' response is amazing. How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Jesus points Mary and Joseph to what's most important, himself. While we are worried, afraid, and angry with ourselves, he is always present and ready to forgive. While we sweat, cry, and bite our nails, Jesus reminds us that God is always in control. We point the finger at ourselves for our failures, but Jesus points it at himself and tells us to trust him. Many years later, that's the same message he preached on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We may forget God, but he never forgets us. Yes, forgetting can really hurt, but the story of the boy Jesus in the temple proves that in our moments of failures, God's providential care never stops.